Yo, what is going on guys? It's Sam here and today I'm bringing you a new video and I know it's been a, a while since I've recorded a video That's because this whole COVID-19 just had me in a little spot where I haven't been motivated to work on cars, but uh, We got a lot of videos lined up uh, for the F30, the E30. We still have it I think a lot of people thought we sold it. I still got the E46, but in today's video we're gonna be working on Thomas E92 he got two parts well actually he got three parts but we're gonna make this uh, video in two parts in today's video we're gonna be replacing this stock hood from his E92 and Thomas actually picked up an M3 hood that is already painted and I think it looks really good and also we got this trunk I don't know if you can tell but it's been hit it's, it's really dented uh, I'm sure you can tell right here it's all, all the way smushed in so um, and also the trunk had this little bump right here um, it was kind of faded so we're going to be replacing the trunk as well and also Thomas just recently got his uh, there go the E30 uh, beautiful looking his HKS blow off valve and the VRSF charge pipe so um, we're going to be dropping that video soon and the next video probably be installing the charge pipe we're going to do it today but right now for today's video we're going to be replacing the M3 hood and the uh, trunk so yeah guys that's pretty much it let me go ahead and show you the trunk uh, and the hood and uh, let's get right to the video first Tommy was not gonna be putting the hood right now but I told him um, just might as well go ahead and do it for a video because Thomas is wrapping the E92 really soon and I think a lot of y'all guys gonna like the color he also has some new wheels coming in he haven't bought them yet but uh, everything's on back order right now since all that COVID-19 uh, stuff but uh, I can't wait for Thomas to wrap his E92. Of course, I'm going to be helping him. So this car is going to be looking really good. And also with the E30, we are going to rewrap it again. We do got the bumper. We got the MTEC bumper. But um, in the E30s, I did not know you had to replace the front valance. So that's why this car is bumperless. And also, I want to show you what else I got for the E30. I got a lot of parts sitting, guys. But like I said, I just haven't been motivated to um, work on cars lately. But... I got these um, new headlights for the E30. I don't know if I showed it in the video before, but the new smiley headlights. It looks really good. So I got a lot of parts. And also, I got something new coming for the F30. Um, it's getting painted. That's all, the only clue I can give y'all. But the new part is getting painted. So uh, we got a whole bunch of parts coming on, guys. Uh, I'm going to try to keep uploading like at least once a week. It's really hard right now with all this COVID-19, but I promise you guys I'm gonna try my best. Okay, so here's the here's the new hood. It has the um, the grills from the M3, and it also got this big bump for the hood. And I think it's gonna look super aggressive compared to the one that Thomas got, which is just a plain grill. Uh, and this is the aftermarket, so I took pictures of how the hood looks, the OEM hood, uh, to make sure I can play with the gaps and see what is um, passable, I guess. And this is also uh, the trunk he got. It's just a regular OEM trunk, but it's in well good condition, and it doesn't have that big bump going inside. So that's gonna look a lot better. It's not gonna look like it got hit or something. And the hood is eight out of 10, maybe. The paint's not that good, but Thomas is gonna be wrapping the car really, really soon. So I think this hood is gonna be um, a very aggressive mod that he's gonna to add to the front end. So um, let's go ahead and start taking the old hood off. so we just took off the hood it literally takes about like five minutes if you got some help but the car looks pretty good without no hood imagine driving like that it'll look pretty nice but here is Thomas old hood it's nine out of ten guys I think he's gonna post it up for sale so if anybody wants it um, here it is it's in perfect condition it's way better condition than this one but like I said Thomas is gonna be wrapping it soon and the good thing about this we don't need to swap no parts over because this hood comes with everything so shout out to my boy Edwin he's the one that picked it up for Thomas um, I'll leave his little Instagram somewhere right there but um, shout out to Edwin for picking up these two parts for us so let's go ahead and just put it right on
Okay guys, so we just finished installing the hood and we got the fitment pretty good. So Thomas, if you go ahead, do the honors and close the hood. Okay guys, so we just finished installing the hood and we got the uh, gaps pretty good on all sides. As you can tell, I took a picture and I went by the picture and I got the same gap all around. I'm surprised how well the fitment is for aftermarket hood. Um, you can see the design of the M3, this little bump in the vents. And the hood looks pretty good, guys. I think they go about like 600 new. And Thomas only got it for $300. And it was already painted as well with the trunk, which was $100 and painted. So he got everything for $400. It was already painted. And I think it was a huge deal. Once he told me, I told him, you need to hop on it. We're not trying to make this car into an M3. But when you get good deals like that for a $600 hood for $300, you should hop on it because it was it was already painted and everything. It was such a great deal. Um, now let's go ahead and move into the trunk. The trunk ain't nothing really special. It's just an OEM trunk, but it's not gonna have that big dent in the back. So I think the car looks really good right now. Okay, guys. So now it's onto the trunk. Uh, I was just looking at it. It's only two bolts. The, um, Thomas don't got the shocks in his trunk, so we're gonna have to skip that step. But if you have it. Make sure you take out the shocks, but it's just two bolts and basically unplug everything and swap the new trunk. It should be easy. Thomas um, might swap everything out. Well, we do got to take all these cables for the uh, tail lights, but we might keep the old one uh, just not to mess with anything. But let me go ahead and take off this trunk and hopefully it'll be an easy swap. Okay guys, so we just got the trunk out. I didn't really record that much because it was mostly me raging. It was pretty hot, but uh, we got everything out. Right now, we're just gonna transfer that motor into this um, trunk. It did have one, but I just took it out because I wanna make sure it works and I know that one works for sure. And that's pretty much it. Um, just uh, also put the keyhole where whatever that, wherever you put the key and that'll be done. And then we can put the tail lights and then just rewire everything up. It, it might be a struggle running the wires through here because there's very little space for your hand. But uh, we'll get it done guys and I'll pick it up once we about to go ahead and install it. Okay guys, so I just finished putting everything back together. Now we're about to go ahead and install the trunk. And hopefully it's easy just plug and play from now on and should be a smooth ride, let's get it. Okay guys, so we just installed the trunk and it's pretty good. I didn't record too much of the process because it's just a normal trunk. And as you can tell, it looks much better. It don't have that big dent no more. The next thing Thomas got in his mar uh, market for the uh, cosmetics is the MTEC uh, 2 rear bumper. But the trunk looks so clean. It's spotless. The trunk looks way better than the hood. But looks pretty clean and it still works. It opens like how it's supposed to. So that's a pretty good job. Alright guys, so we didn't finish yesterday. All we gotta do is install this carbon fiber spoiler and that's pretty much it. And then we can go ahead and get some cinematics for you guys. Maybe showing y'all the hood. Um, not too much of the trunk because it's, like I said, it is an OEM trunk. So nothing too special, but right now it looks super aggressive. Uh, we was driving to work the, uh, this morning and I was seeing Thomas car from my uh, rear mirror and it looks super, super aggressive guys. Uh, it looks really good, totally worth it. But let me go ahead and start this car on fire spoiler and I'll pick up the video in just a second. guys and just like that the carbon fiber spoiler is on and this looks so good it looks like oh no it looks so much better without that big dent uh like i said thomas next cosmetic mod it might not be in the next year but it sure definitely is the m tech 2 rear bumper they go out of stock a lot so that's why thomas can't pick it up right quick so ah uh, dang guys that e92 looks really good comment down below if you think it was a good deal picking up that trunk for a hundred dollars i think it was totally worth it it was painted and just for a hundred dollars fit right good and no more dents guys it looks really clean
okay guys so i'm gonna go ahead and end the video um if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button i'm sorry i haven't been uploading guys i know i'm very i'm not consistent so i'm gonna try to upload as much as i can as you can see we have multiple parts waiting for it to be installed for the 335 we got that charge pipe and the blow up valve my f30 got a part coming the e30 got multiple parts that I haven't installed so i'm gonna try to upload as much as i can guys i just been really busy with this covid 19 stuff going on uh i just been very busy and i just not been motivated to work on cards but um i'm gonna try to be more motivated guys let me know what you think about it uh the m3 hood i might get hate because people are gonna try to say that uh, i'm trying to make it make it into an m3 but in reality it was just such a good deal that we didn't want to give up and we was not in the market for an m3 hood anyway so we just saw the deal and we hopped on it guys so let me know what you think in the comments but with that being said guys as always it's been some ranchers garage stay humble stay blessed we out peace